uh, speaking of your records, I want to take a little look back because uh, amazing. Ten years last year was uh, was Puzzle. It was, that's mm. such an amazing milestone for that album. Yeah, I know. I feel old on that one. Yeah. But um, but yeah, how do, how do you kind of look back on that record uh, in terms of the pantheon, the anthology? Where does it kind of sit with you guys now, Puzzle? I think looking back now, I mean, we've made four records since Puzzle. It it's kind of where we became like a a serious band I, don't, I know mm. that maybe sounds sounds silly because of course we, we cared you know we were serious before then but the three records before that were, were pure exuberance were ch- pure pure youth pure mm. energy pure res- revolting against everything that we'd ever heard and, and not want you know if someone said to me do you like the Beatles I go no fuck the Beatles I don't <laughs> listen to anything that was made before fucking <laughs> before yeah before what sorry a year ago yeah a year ago <laughs> exactly um so so they, they were kind of like dripping with attitude those records mm. and i think puzzle was where we really inadvertently or i think it was inadvertently you know my mom passed away at that time so so i wasn't really bothered about feeling cool or doing what i thought mm-hmm. was right or, or trying to be this or that i just let the muse sing and and i think that's where we became ourselves so that's what i see i see puzzle is kind of when we became adults, mm-hmm. musically and oh. in real life, and, and that, that maybe sounds a bit, no, it's a bit, bit unromantic. Yeah. But, but, but when, when we found our, we found our feet, I think properly. Right. I'm really scared to see the word matured. <laughs> yeah. like, it's learned to balance, it's, not yeah, such, but it was learned to balance the yeah. the weirdness of what we were doing. Because I think it's still a weird record. Yeah, you know, still it, absolutely. Record, yeah, yeah, but but it was just learning to know to, when to let the the light shine yeah, you know whereas exactly. before we'd like you know Tiny we'd, bits of light we'd wrap the, the yeah. light and it'd be like a pass the parcel yeah. but it'd be 16 <laughs> they keep passes the before you get to see the light yeah. whereas this one was more just a couple of rounds yeah. nice. or everyone got a wee light yeah. <laughs> very good analogy. a wee party bag on the way <laughs> yeah. out yeah. that's puzzle I like that a lot <laughs> uh, the other thing I want to ask you about for the past so we've been asking loads of bands recently is the final ever Warp Tour in America this summer oh, I, I, I hadn't really? even realised you guys played Warp we, Tour yeah. that's yeah. amazing that's good Biffy written all over <laughs> <laughs> well that's the thing like, how did you find that experience because i guess on paper well they've had a diverse diverse mix yeah. but maybe on paper it wouldn't necessarily associate you with it but how was the experience Warped for you guys? was not for Biffy. it was not for Biffy us was not for not? no we made some great friends yeah. we had a great time because we got to try drive around the states but you know what it was like what was big that year it's probably under Roth and the first wave mm-hmm. and paramore were coming up and sure. and I think New Found Glory were headlining. So, I mean, it wasn't for us. We just we didn't make enough effort f- for those guys no. to like us. It was the most terrifying aspect of it was just the, the how commodified it was. And yeah. don't get me wrong, we're in a major <clears> label. <throat> we punt our music. You know, don't get me wrong. We say it, we're as, as guilty of it as anyone else. But people would the bands would take they would care more about setting up their merch mm-hmm. than their fucking right. show. Yeah. Right. And and and. It's not particularly their fault because that's how they've, they've learned it over the years, maybe being warped to it a bunch of times. But the balance for us was just slightly askew. Mm. And of course, you need to try and survive as a band and all that. But see if, see if like, your signing session or something becomes more important than, than the show you put on, then I think you've got a problem as a band. Yeah, Having yeah. said that, we made some great friends. We mm-hmm. saw some amazing bands. Yeah, we who did you hang out with on the road on that? Gallows were on that oh, one. Oh, nice. Badass. Uh, Funeral for a Friend were on that one, That's actually. Great, as well. yeah. We uh, made friends with a band called The Matches, Matches. from San Francisco, wow. who we're still friends with. Oh, and nice. um, yeah. Everyone else that was a bit fucking it. weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait to hear this, though. That was back, and maybe, I don't know if hair straightening is still a thing, but when that started some guy fucking walks on our bus going eh, hey man can anywhere I can plug my straighteners <laughs> in <laughs> I'm fucking I'm going to straighten my hair and we were like sorry Walk what <laughs> we got off our fucking bus I you know, know I know God and there's nothing wrong it. with it it's like but at that point there was something very wrong about it you know oh, do, man. do what you want with your hair right well, now, but not in our fucking bus <laughs>